Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about various advantages of DBMS over a file based system. Means what are the different benefits of DBMS over a file based system. Let us start with the first advantage, reduce data redundancy. Here first question comes in our mind what actually data redundancy is. Data redundancy is nothing but data duplication. We can also say that repetition of data. Now let us see how database management system can reduce the data redundancy. Suppose a college having four departments, computer, civil, electrical and mechanical. And all these four departments are keeping the record of faculties who are taking lecture in the department. Data are nothing but employee name, address, mobile number and subject. Now suppose a faculty is taking a lecture of particular subject, for example the subject is PPS in all these four departments. So these faculty's details such as faculty name, address, mobile number and subject is stored at four different locations that is in computer department's file, in electrical department's file, in civil department's file and mechanical department's file. So the same data is stored at four different places. It is known as data duplication or data redundancy. This type of data redundancy is there in file based system. But if we use DBMS, then it can remove such data redundancy by storing data centrally at one location. As well as DBMS will also provide a facility of normalization to reduce such type of data redundancy. Next move further, second advantage, it removes data inconsistency. Here data inconsistency is directly proportional to data redundancy. Let us see the example how database management system will reduce the data inconsistency or we can say will remove the data inconsistency. Now in a previous example, suppose this faculty's mobile number is changed. Now, in case of file based system, we need to change this mobile number at four different locations in computer's file, in electrical department's file, in civil department's file and in mechanical department's file. Now suppose this computer and electrical department has changed but civil department and mechanical department forgot to change this mobile number. So, in such cases, the same data having different value at different location means the same faculty's mobile number value is different at different location here your database will be entered into inconsistent state but if we use database management system then in dbms it will keep our data in consistent state because our data is stored centrally at one location so we need to change the mobile number of this faculty at one location or one place only. Next move further, third advantage that is data isolation. Here data may be scattered in various files. Let's take example, we are having three different files, file 1 which contains personal information, file 2 which contains lecture, salary and load related information and file 3 contains rating of the faculty. And it may be possible that all the files may be in different format means file may be in excel, file 2 may be in word, file 3 may be in notepad. So in such cases it is very much difficult to retrieve the appropriate data by combining data from three files. But if we use database management system then it will allow us to access appropriate data easily. Why? Because in database management system first thing is your entire data is located centrally at one place Plus, it may be possible that your data is stored in different tables but DBMS will provide such facility to combine data from different tables so that we can easily access data from multiple tables. Next move further, guaranteed atomicity. Again question comes in our mind what actually atomicity is. Atomicity means either your transaction executes 0% or 100%. That means once your transaction will start, either your transaction will fully execute or none of execute. Let's take example. Suppose we are having two person 
person A and person B. Person A having account A with balance 2000. Person B having account B with balance 1000. Now before starting transaction, sum of both account is 3000. Now we want to perform a transaction that is we want to transfer rupees 500 from account A to account B. Now to perform the transaction we need to perform two steps. Step number one debit rupees 500 from account A. Step number two credit that 500 into account B. Now suppose our transaction execute 100 percent that means both the steps execute successfully. After executing step number two Balance of account A is 1500, balance of account B is again 1500, so sum of account A and account B is 3000. So here my system is in consistent state. Now suppose after executing step number 1, transaction is failed. So at here, balance of account A is 1500 because 500 rupees is debited from account A. And balance of account B is 1000. So sum of account A and account B is 2500. So here rupees 500 is missing. So database is entered in inconsistent state. But if we use database management system, then once your transaction will fail in between, then in such cases your transaction will be reached over here in 0%. Means in database management system, this debited 500 rupees from account V will be automatically credited into account A. So balance becomes 2000, here 1000, again the sum will be 3000. This type of atomicity facility is provided in database management system. Next move further, allow to implement integrity constraint. Again here what do we mean by integrity constraint? Integrity constraint is nothing but business rules. Let's take example. Suppose a table having information about employee or we can say faculty that is employee name, address, mobile number and subject. Now here mobile number should contain exactly 10 digits. Means we want to implement that until the user will not enter 10 digits, he or she should not proceed further. Let's take another example. A student's table in which student name, branch, backlog and SPA. Again here we want to implement that the value of SPA should be between 0 to 10. This type of business rule facility is available in database management system. Means we can use this type of business rules in database management system. Next move further, sharing of data among multiple users. Again, let's take previous example. These four department with the four HODs. Now suppose HOD of computer department want to access data of electrical department but not able to access. HOD of computer department want to access data of civil department but not allowed to access. But if we use database management system then DBMS will allow more than one user to access same data simultaneously. Next move further. Restricting unauthorized access to data. That means prevent unauthorized user to access our data. Now let's take example. Suppose our database consists of three files, file 1, 2 and 3. Now a faculty from other college wants to access our database. In this case, we won't allow him to access our database. But a faculty from our college, that is from Darshan College, wants to access our database. In this case, we will allow him to access these two files that is file 1 and file 2 but we won't allow him to access file 3. This type of authority can be given by using database management system. Means DBMS will prevent unauthorized user to access our data. And last one is providing backup and recovery services. DBMS will allow us or gives facility to backup and restore the database in case of failures. These are the various advantages of database management system. Thank you very much.